Hello there. Alrighty. Now, again, I'm taking another one of the older embellishments that we've made, and I will attach this video. This is for the, the junk mail butterflies. Um, and I'm gonna make it into a border so that we can put that on either a card or a journal or a scrapbook page. So I'm gonna run this through the crimper. If you don't have a crimper, you can use your scoreboard or you could just run it through a folder. Alrighty, so I just wanted a little texture on that. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna put these right on here. That's pink, let's see, purple here and blue there. And I'm just gonna put them on just like that. Just three of them on there and then they can go on a card front. Isn't that neat? All right, so let's do this. That's gonna be very simple. So I think I'm gonna use both tape and glue just to make sure that it stays down. Alrighty. So that can go right in the middle. Very simple border and I just made this about it's about five and a half inches long because that's about the length of a the front of a card all right so the pink one in the middle there actually I want to put glue oh that is gonna stay on oh all right I was gonna say I want to put glue on too but I forgot this is really really sticky 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 double stick tape there all right ha. well easy peasy isn't that pretty? Very, very, very simple. All righty. So then we just need to put it on a card. So let's take this card out. And it goes on like that. And let's see. I want a background. So I want to go through the backgrounds that I've made and see if I've got one that I like. Ooh, how about that one? That would be pretty. Oh, yes. All right. So I just have to trim this down. And these were strips of the tape strip border that I took one piece and then I cut it in four so that way it was very narrow so that I can make the background paper using the shiny blue paper. That came out really neat. All righty. And there's a piece for the inside of the card. And five and a quarter right there. And there's a piece for the inside of the card. May as well use them both. Perfect. All right. Okay, make sure that's open on the right end. Down on the bottom. We'll get a little glue on here. Got a lumpy in here. Perfect. All right. So there's a lot of scraps. This whole card is made up of scraps. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Because we've got a scrap background and our gorgeous butterfly border. I really like that. That's very nice. All right, let's go ahead. And, is that coming up? It turned. Oh, it's it's sticking on where the, that's funny. It's adhering right where the ribbon is or the, the bow is. So there, I'll squirt a little bit of glue on either side. That's a good idea. Press that down. Let's go ahead and trim this a little bit. From this side a little bit there because it was a little bit long now are these on by the same way nope that one's on pretty good that one's on pretty good too that's really weird all right well let's turn this over and get some glue on it and I need a bunch of glue on there Oh, 
All right. All righty, all righty. I really like the contrast of this. That's very pretty. That's sharp. I like it. All right, now let's go ahead and get these skinny little strips on the inside. Four left for another day. Why is this stuck? Oh, it's stuck on the back. Oh, okay, because they bend over. All right, I'll deal with that after. All righty. So we're really, I've been going through trying to think of more ideas because I've had quite a few new people that are coming on saying, well, how do you use that? Can you make something else with it? Can you make something else with it? So that's what I'm trying to do is use some of these older embellishments that we've made in the past and either use it on a card or make a, an even bigger embellishment out of it. And today we're doing a border, which you know I love to do the borders because borders are great for cards, as you can see, and they're great for tucks, tuck areas in a, in a journal and or in a scrapbook. Imagine doing a whole row of these in a, in a scrapbook page. That would be really pretty. All right, and I think the only thing it needs now are maybe some gems. So let's pull out the gems. See, whoops, it's falling out through the crack over there. Alrighty, what color do I want? Nope, I don't want orange. I want maybe like this green. That would be pretty. That would pull the green out. Alright, let's do that. And there's lots of green in here, so that's good. Alrighty, so let's do a big one, a medium one, and a small one. Perfect. All right. That's a quick and easy card, don't you think? Alrighty, so there you go. Another neat card layout. And a fun, simple, simple, simple embellishment to make, especially if you had the butterflies made already. But you can also, you can use anything here. You could do three stickers, three stamped images that you fussy cut out. You can punch up three items out, three leaves, and just put them on and creating a border with three images. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.